If mammals and reptiles are both amniotes sharing common ancestors, why are mammals so different from reptiles? Why are there so many traits which unite mammals as a group? Much of the explanation is in the enormous period of time which passed as the synapsid reptiles gradually evolved into mammals through a series of stages. So the pelicosaurs, therapsids, and cynodont reptiles, which are the ancestors of mammals, slowly accumulated changes from the mid-carboniferous period, through the Permian period, through the end of the Triassic period, about a hundred million years. The first mammals had been separated evolutionarily from other reptile groups for over a hundred million years by the time they first appear in the late Triassic. Since additional tens of millions of years passed before the last common ancestor of the egg-laying monotreme mammals and the mammals alive today which give live birth, known as the therian mammals, the marsupials and the placental mammals, then additional changes evolved in the early mammals which unite all of the lineages alive today but which were not present in the first mammals. And so because well over a hundred million million years of evolutionary change separated the lineages of reptile alive today and the lineages of mammal alive today. There are many features which unite the mammals and separate them from reptiles.